thank you, Lord. Father, we give you praise. And we give you all the glory. I want to deeply appreciate my grandfather, who is your father in the Lord, my grandfather, Daddy Gio, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. I thought we would celebrate the Lord so much for his life, his impact that has transcended from him down to my father, Bishop David Oedipo, and now finding expression in our lives. We come from a very dangerous lineage, a lineage that will not accept the norm. There is nothing normal about the life we live. From my grandfather to my father and down to ourselves, and you look at what God is doing in the life of my brother and friend, very precious, P. Daniels, Oluwande, his wife. My wife and I love you so very much. And this is amazing what God is doing in our generation. Like I will say, this generation is not wasted. What God has planned to do in our generation, we will see come to pass. Did I hear loud? Amen. For all of the ministers that have been here since the beginning, I've been following and seeing what God is doing. In fact, you would think we all sat down to discuss the message. Because as I'm hearing one, I am seeing what God showed me. Hearing another one, seeing what God has shown me. And you look at what God has done today. From the first message, Pastor Bolaji Idowu, down to P. Daniel, and then one of our fathers in the land, Reverend Samson, just all taking us on a journey. But before YMR is over, both the fire and the rain will fall upon us. Yeah. Lift your hands. There's an atmosphere in this place that Jesus loves to dwell. Let's worship him right now and the greatest event of today so far is about to take place in your life and my life. Do you know the song? There is an atmosphere in this place that Jesus loves to dwell. Anybody? You don't know the song? Anybody? You know the song? Which one do you know? Take me on one you know that will just lead us and we... Anyone? Go ahead. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Lift your hands. Sing one. Atmosphere of Jesus. Atmosphere of Jesus. Atmosphere of Jesus. I'm the atmosphere of Jesus. Atmosphere of Jesus. Atmosphere of Jesus. For there's an atmosphere where nothing is impossible. No limits in us. There's an atmosphere. There's an atmosphere when nothing is impossible and no limits in pure. There's an atmosphere. I'm the atmosphere of Jesus. Atmosphere of Jesus. Atmosphere of Jesus. Oh, in the atmosphere of Jesus. Atmosphere of Jesus. Atmosphere of Jesus. But there's an atmosphere when nothing is impossible. No disease is incurable. There's an atmosphere. Lift your hands. When nothing is impossible, no disease is gone. There's an atmosphere. We have you. We worship you. We
Father, we thank you. Thank you for the grace that is available here. I stand on the grace that is at work here in this house. The grace of our Father in the Lord. The grace that is upon this great church family. And Lord, I ask that within the sessions that we have left, each one of us be drenched in the rain. Confirm every word spoken to prove that you are the one who gave the word. Holy Spirit, continue the work you already began. And for all you do, I vow to return all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. For it is in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Everybody at YMR, here at Redemption City and across the world, will you shout the loudest, Amen! God told my brother, and I heard him say it very clearly, that many miracles will come by shouting. Can I have you shout right now? Give the Lord the loudest shout. All over, the loudest shout. The loudest shout. Mantles are being transferred. The loudest shout. The loudest shout of praise. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You may please be seated. Those who will tarry till almost 2 p.m. must be hungry. Those who will keep waiting upon the Lord this long and avoid distractions must be thirsty. In the authority of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, new Elijahs, under the sound of my voice, new Elishas, new Inokadeboes, new generals will arise from this meeting. Somebody's amen will make it happen. P. Daniel and your beloved wife and the entire YMR family, thank you for this privilege. I'll be sharing in the sessions that we've been given on a message the Lord put in my heart about four months ago. And opportunities have come to minister it, but it wasn't the word for that meeting because God had a plan for YMR. And the topic I'm looking at this afternoon, follow it very carefully with every energy you still have inside you, is Mount Camel. The fire and the rain. Mount Camel. The fire and the rain. As we began to prepare to come to YMR, the Lord said, he said it some time ago, but reminded me again that he's calling a generation to Mount Camel. There is a generation's call to Mount Camel. First Kings chapter 18 will be our running text. And in verse 19, the Bible says, Now therefore send and gather unto me all Israel unto Mount Camel. And the prophets of Baal, 450. And the prophets of the grooves, 400. Which eat at Jezebel's table. So Ahab went, sent unto all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Camel. And Elijah came 
unto all the people and said, How long shall ye halt between two opinions? If the Lord be God, then follow him. And if Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him not a word. Then Elijah said unto the people, I even I only remain of the prophets of the Lord. But Baal's prophets are 450. Let them therefore give us two blocks. Let them choose one bullock for themselves and cut it in pieces and lay it on wood and put no fire under it. And I will dress the other bullock and lay it on the wood and put no fire under. And call ye on the name of your gods. And I will call on the name of the Lord. And the God that answered by fire let him be God. And the people answered and said, it is well spoken. Jump to verse 30 because of our time. And Elijah said unto the people, come near unto me. And all the people came near unto him. And he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. And Elijah took 12 stones <laughs> according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob to whom the word of the Lord came saying Israel shall be thy name and with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord and he made a trench about the altar as great as would contain two measures of seed and he put the wood in order cut the bullock in pieces laid barrels with water poured it upon the burnt sacrifice and on the wood and he said do it again a second time and he did a second time he said do it again a third time and he did it a third time and the water ran about the altar and filled the trench and it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel, and that I am thy servant, and I have done these things according to thy word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that these people may know that thou art the Lord God, and thou hast turned their heart back again. Then the fire of the Lord fell, and consume the burnt offering sacrifice and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. And when the people saw it, they fell on their faces and said, the Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. Now, listen to this. There are two sessions that we have been given. The first scripture I just read now is for part one. Before the rain came, the fire fell. Lift up your hands. You are the sacrifice. The fire of the Lord is about to consume somebody here right now. God is about to consume somebody here right now moving you up to a flaming dimension where your words carry weight. Lift up your hands, fire of the Lord. Look at that man, that woman that is so hungry and thirsty, tired of the norm, tired of the usual. Let the fire, the fire, let that fire fall. Let it fall. Is sweeping through the aisles right now. Let that fire fall. Let that fire fall. Let that fire fall. It's, it's happening right now. Let that fire fall. All across the auditorium, there are people that are being set on literal fire. It's a new dimension. Let the fire fall. Let the fire fall. Let the fire fall. And when he is come, he will baptize you with the Holy Ghost. 
and with fire. Let that fire. New mantles are dropping right now. New mantles. I was watching YMR last year online. I'm not online now. I'm on ground. I'm not only on ground, I'm on the altar. So many things can happen in one year. I speak over someone. Your voice that has not been heard before now. Your voice begin to travel to nations. For our God is a consuming fire, but it's also a refining fire. You look through scriptures, many things documented about God are documented as fire. Elijah, the fiery prophet, already had an internal encounter with fire that he could call. It is those who are burning with fire in their bones that can call fire from the heavens. Mantles are here. The God of our general overseer is here. The God that put together a meeting like why am I none like it in the world is here. The God using P. Daniel is here. He's no respecter of persons. He's here. Mount Camel. The fire and the rain. Therefore, the Lord has asked me to welcome you specially on this third day. And if you read the scripture, after they poured water three times. This is the fourth message. First time, second time, something has been happening. But now the fire is falling. The fire is about to fall. It's already touching somebody. It's touching another person. The fire of the Lord is here. Mount Camel. The Lord said he's not asked us to come to Mount Camel for us to prove ourselves, but for him to prove himself. Elijah didn't go to Mount Camel to prove that he's a prophet of the Lord. No. He went to Mount Camel as instructed by the Lord for God to prove who he is. Mount Camel, the fire and the rain. Seven very quick things this afternoon. Coming to Mount Camel, number one, is coming to a place of separation. You had to leave many things behind to come to YMR. Mount Camel is a place of separation. Without these things in place, you are not permitted to call down fire. 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 19 and 20, we read that. He said, bring them, gather them to Mount Camel. These things don't happen at home. It takes people who will journey. Come to Mount Camel. Leave your comfort. Leave your needs behind. Leave your ministry behind and come. Mount Camel is the place of separation. <laughs> Those who will not leave all are not qualified to follow him. The place of separation. Number two, Coming to Mount Camel is coming to a place of decision. First Kings 18 verse 21, we read that. The Bible says, And Elijah came unto the people and said, How long will you be held between two matters? If God be God, then serve him. If it be Baal, then follow him. God is too big to beg us to follow the place of decision. Indecision is one of the greatest tragedies of destiny. Anyone that will carry the fire comes to a place of decision. It takes decision to follow God to a dimension. 
like we heard from Reverend Sam, to enter a forest that nobody enters and comes alive. Those who are dead don't fear death. Decision. What will you decide at this Mount Camel? Why am I is Mount Camel? Don't live here with revelations only. Don't live here with prophecies only. Live here with decisions. We are hearing of fasting going on for 200 days. Decision. I refuse to die as a coward. I refuse to die without fulfilling destiny. Of what good is it to fulfill somebody else's choice for you and you miss out on God's best for you? These decisions are risky decisions. Did you ever ask yourself, what will have happened if the fire didn't fall on Mount Carmel? The name of the Lord will have been wiped out. One. Two. Elijah that was already being looked for will have been slaughtered. But there was a decision. Lord, if you are really God, prove yourself. God is looking for a generation of risk takers who will live comfort because nothing great is born in comfort. Decision. Mount Carmel it's not just a place of separation. Two, it's a place of decision. Ah, number three, it is a place of selection. Do you know at YMR, God is already picking next generation generals. YMR is not a place you should desire, I want to come and preach. It's a place you should desire to come to receive a mantle for your generation. You look at the expectation of the fathers. I heard that the Jews said that by the next YMR, this place should be filled. Greater works in shorter time. Greater works in shorter time. You are already getting old. The generals we celebrate today, we are already doing mighty things at this stage. Lift up your hands. New Catherine Kumans. The Lord told me, he said, 2024, women will rise. Vraba teketemana shag bradikala. Hayiko tupiaka. The Lord told me this year, he said, I'm already picking my men for this generation. There is a parade in the spirit going on. A parade in the spirit. A parade in the spirit. You are being checked out. You are being looked at. Names are being written out. Prophets will rise. Apostles will rise. Evangelists will rise. Pastors will rise. Teachers will rise. It's a place of selection. Hmm. Number four, Mount Carmel is a place of desperation. Ah, to wait on God for four days without eating takes desperation. Some have had whole years past them without eating till 12 noon as a way of life. They don't even see it as fasting again. Desperation. As the deep panted for the waters, so my soul longed after thee. I love this. You alone are my heart. Desire and I long to worship you. 
as the day. As the All over this place, lift your voice. Panted for the waters. Are there any desperate people here? Oh, you alone are my heart. Desire and I long to worship Come on! of desperation if you look at 1st Kings 18 23 and 24 we see the cry of a desperate man give us two blocks let's make sure we dampen the bullock so it doesn't catch fire by mistake Lord I have brought your name to this mountain if you do not answer me then your name is finished if you do not answer me, then I am finished. But I decide to journey. Desperation. Mount Camel, the place of desperation. Number five, Mount Camel, this is all by introduction, is the place of action. And so in verse 30, Elijah said unto the people, Come near unto me. And all the people came near to him and repaired the altar of the Lord. That is, that is action. I didn't share my teaching notes with P. Daniel, but you see that before I came up, what happened was the repairing of the altar. The repairing of the altar. Repentance. Repaired the altar. Action. And then I, I, I heard Peter Daniel teaching. I said, who showed this man my note? Number six, Mount Carmel is a place of revelation. And you heard him talking about the stone of revelation. Now look at this in 1 Kings 18 verse 31 to 36. Elijah took 12 stones. <laughs> what did he do with the stones? Why did he pick the stones? Why 12? The answer is revelation. 12 representing the 12 tribes of Israel. Everything Elijah did at Mount Carmel were actions of revelation. It's not enough to have action. It's important to act based on revealed truths. And so, we see that after all that took place, the fire came down. Revelation. Number seven, don't get so used to it. Right now, before this session is over, and the night session and tomorrow, one of the things you'll be seeing so much, that's right, is manifestations number seven things happen on Mount Carmel ah I thank God I came today from the first teaching to the second to the third Mount Carmel is a place of manifestation if nothing happens to you you only went around Mount Carmel you didn't ascend but I'm talking to somebody here who is already ascending and many are already on the mount. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The same things we saw and are still seeing God do through the hands of our fathers in the faith. 
this your small hands God will use to do much more Come on, man. Camel is a place of aggression. Let me hear you shout an aggressive amen. That's not aggressive enough. Let me hear you shout a more aggressive amen. Mount Camel, the fire and the rain. Regarding God's, just focus, God is doing his work. Regarding God's agenda for true revival, which is an outpouring in our generation, there's always a call to Mount Carmel. And it shall come to pass that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. <laughs> Your young men shall prophesy, see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. <laughs> Joel chapter 2 verse 28 down to 30. On Mount Carmel there will always be an outpouring but that's for the next part of the teaching. But hear this. When God has an agenda for a generation he selects people but he also gives certain mountains to certain people. YMR is one of such Mount Camel that has been given to P. Daniel. It's the mountain of the Lord. <laughs> it's the mountain of the Lord. Hmm. <laughs> Let us journey. Three things happen. The altar. The order. And the sacrifice. If you go through what we read very carefully, he had to repair the altar. And then he had to put the wood in order. And then he and then he had to place the sacrifice before the fire came down things. The altar, the order, and the sacrifice. Before this session is over, we will call down the fire of God. But the altar must be in order. And then you and I must offer ourselves as sacrifices. Men and women who will say, I make a decision to leave this Mount Camel by attempting to do great things for God. What if the fire doesn't fall? My question is, what if the fire falls? What if no man gathers? What if all of Israel gathers? The altar, the order, and the sacrifice. Hmm. Because our God is a God of patterns. Exodus 25 verse 40, do everything according to the pattern that is shown to you on the mountain. Building down the broken altar talks about repentance. And so if you answer that call for repentance, we're already in the right place. The Lord began to speak to me about telling a generation to get accustomed and get used to the beauty of repentance. We have so made repenting an ugly incidence. Yet it is beauty. 
so beautiful that it throws heaven in party mood. There is joy in heaven over one soul that repents. The altar. My altar is calling you. My altar is called. So leave me at the altar with my father. 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 Repentance. Until there is repentance, we are not ready for the fire. Repentance. It is the move of man that provokes the move of God. Man takes the first step by repenting. God takes the next step by releasing the fire. If there is anything you must repent of, don't let this session pass you by. In case you didn't come out before, right where you are, you can, you can lay it all. There is nothing normal about sin. Stop normalizing abnormalities. Until the altar is repaired, that is the pattern. Repairing the altar. Repairing the altar is simply preparation for the fire. That's right. Number two, put the wood in order. And this talks about getting to a lifestyle. We heard that from Peter Daniel, not prayer time, oh, a lifestyle of prayer. Let me tell you something that will shock you. Anyone who prays short in public and mighty things happen has prayed long in secret. When Daddy Gio stands and says, let somebody shout hallelujah and all kinds of miracles are happening. If you do the same, nothing may happen. God hears his secret and manifests in the open. For our Father which heareth his secret will reward you how? Openly. Every open manifestation is a product of secret travail. Hmm. Put the wood in order by paying the price of prayer. Put the wood in order by demand for revelation. By revelation, I'm not just talking about interpretation of scriptures. I'm talking about things God speaks to you. The word of God plus the voice of God is what we call revelation. No wonder the early church that saw fire, called down fire, experienced fire, moved in fiery dimensions. The Bible would say about them, they gave themselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And number three, because we are going to call for the fire of God, all kinds of manifestations, they're already taking place in the congregation, but it's about to be turbulent now. Number three, is to lay the sacrifice on the altar. What is the point repairing the altar? Putting the wood in order and there is no sacrifice. 
Lord, prepare me a sanctuary. That's all right. Pure and holy. This is a retreat. Tried and true. With thanksgiving. I'll be a living sanctuary. Give it to me one more time. Lord, prepare me. Come on, Lord, prepare me. Our sanctuary. That's the song of one that is laying themselves on the altar. You're an holy, tried and true. With thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary. The altar, the order, and the sacrifice. For except the corn of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it abided alone. But if it dies, <laughs> it bringeth forth much fruit. Now, if you look at it, The bullock that was put on the altar first had to be slaughtered. The fire will only consume dead men. The altar, the order, and the sacrifice. God is such a God of order that he ensured that this message was the fourth one because the order there is that the water is poured three times. First time, second time, third time. Now we can call for the fire. Once the altar is repaired, the order is followed and the sacrifice is made. Hmm. Then the fire can fall. <laughs> I came to Wyoming to die to self. This fire is for dead men. For dead women. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fall on me. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fall on me. Right here in Wyoming. Just fire like the day, the day of Pentecost. Fire fall on me. Aradebesha. Just like the day, the day of Pentecost. Fire, fire fall on me. Hold on. Stand there for those number of days. The Bible says, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, dead men were in one room. They were in one accord, had died to self because they tarried. <laughs> and the Bible says they came upon them cloven tongues as of fire, fire, fire as shot up in the bones of a man. Mount Camel is Weimar. <laughs> and on the second day will he revive us and on the third day he will raise us up this is day three he takes a dead man to rise if you haven't died you can't rise resurrection is for the dead not for the living I speak to somebody 
under this great tent of his glory that has ascended Mount Carmel in the authority of the name of Jesus. Let that fire fall now. Fire, let it fall now. Let it fall now. Let the fire of the Lord fall now upon you. One of the very great manifestations, that's right, of fire is your speech will become altered. Alteration of speech. Your tongue becomes fiery. You begin to say things beyond your ears. When this fire drops on a man or woman, your tongue is altered. The Lord said to tell you that because I didn't have it written down. Your tongue, how do you know you have the fire has fallen upon you? Your tongue is altered. Your tongue is altered. Your tongue is altered. When you hear yourself, you know it is not you. That's right. Alteration of speech. Your tongue is altered. You begin to say unsayable things. I go Shabbai. Alteration of tongue. Number two, when the fire comes and falls upon an individual, you begin to dare the undareable. You take steps that they say this man is mad. But until you are mad, you cannot be made. Yes, sir. There are mantles upon your life that you are too scared to use. You have had visions and revelations. You are too scared to journey. Aya. You begin to take steps that you know it is. Oh my God. When will you begin to attempt great things for God? In your generation and in my generation. When would we say we can we can fill up stadiums? When would we go to cities? Elijah said, call all of Israel. And all of Israel gathered. They haven't gathered because you haven't called. You haven't called because your tongue hasn't been altered. There is what they call authority. Every believer has it. But there is what they call audacity. Very few have it. Authority first. Audacity next. The authority of the believer. That's all right. What of the audacity of the believer? That will dare and take a step. Mount Carmel is a place where you are called out. Called out. Called up. So that the fire can fall. That's right. He told me that now. Everyone hungry, run to the front right now. This is time for hunger. Time for hunger. That's right, that's right. Hungry generation, hungry man. The fire is about to drop massively. Hungry man. Man that will journey. Lift your hands. We may not be able to take everybody in front, but lift your hands. The Spirit of God is one. My friend and my brother here will release the fire of the Spirit. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Remember, it will show in your speech. It will show in your acts. Your talk will change. Your walk will change. Everything altered. The altar is where things are altered. Look at tens of thousands at the altar. If God will find 1,000 of you, our generation will never remain the same. Keep your hands lifted up.
I'll count to 12. That's the order. I They placed 12 stones. These men and women here are hungry. They are dead already. They are the ones who qualify for the fire. 12 stones. I am ready to be used. I am ready to be used. Use me. Use me. Use me. Use me. I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. 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 We are ready for your fire. I am ready. We are ready. We are ready for your fire. Send your aid. Send your aid. Send your aid. We are ready. I am ready. to get to 12 for the fire to drop. One. Fire, fire. Fire. Two. It's already beginning. Like fire showed up in your bones. We will reach our generation. Must burn for God. Territories must be saved. Three receive the fire. It's happening already. Rapaka tabala katabala baya. Swaka tepedia. Eketeba baba. La swaka parada baya. Four. Receive, receive, receive. There's a baptism. Our fathers in the faith have been baptized with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Yes. It's the turn of a new generation. That's right. That's right. That's right. Swaka Baba. Before we get to the twelfth time, that's the order. I want you to understand. If you can hear me with one ear, that's fine. Look at the prayer of Elijah. Hear me, O oh Lord. Hear me. That these people here may know that thou art the Lord God and that thou hast turned their hearts back again. Then the fire of the Lord fell. We are getting closer. It's already burning in many of you. Let it rise. Let it rise. 
Let it rise. Seven. Receive the fire. Rivarai. Nations are waiting to drink. Aya. Rivarai. My river rise. Nations are waiting to drink. River rise. Aya. River rise. Something is happening. River rise. Nations are waiting to drink. Africa is waiting. Africa is waiting. Europe is waiting. Europe is ready. Asia is waiting. Asia is set. North America is waiting. South Africa is ready. Australia is waiting. Australia is waiting. The world is waiting. They are 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 waiting. River eyes. Come on. Lift your hands like a funnel. The fire. The fire. The Lord told me, he said, the year 2024 for us will be the year of the Holy Ghost and fire. And this is the first place I'm sharing anything about it. Because somebody said, why am I? Who must be a first partaker? Nine. Ten. We have laid ten stones. Two more to go. Hi, Kalabala Dodo Shut. Washwaka Parakataya. Eleven. We're about to lay the last stone now. And we call for the fire. Mount Carmel is a place of manifestations of the Spirit of God. Now, for the last time, when I call 12, you scream fire. That is a heart that is hungry. Now, 12. Love! Let the fire be to we. Let the fire be to Let the fire. Take it. Take it. Blow. Take it. Blow. Take it. Blow like the mighty wind. Fire of the Lord. Spirit of revival. Fire of the Lord. Come on us with your wind. Fire of the Lord. Blow. Blow. Fire of the Lord. Blow like the mighty wind. Spirit of revival. Come on us with your wings. Yeah, no, 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 to your ministries, take it. Come on, come on, come on. Aya! A generation is at Mount Carmel. Come on, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Here, look at the last swag up back at the end. Le Penenia Catabalabaya. A swag up back at any Come on. Amen. I heard the Lord loud and clear. Look at me. Look at us. The Lord said if you can see it, you are seeing wisdom and faith. You are seeing generational graces. As much as you desire, will you receive today? On this altar, in this season, there is a grace to do the impossible. 
Yes. The grace of the frontline grace. The graces are the grace that can be behind. Oh my God. Oh my God. Graces that subdue nations. Ah. Asian graces. Asian graces. Asian graces. Asian matches. Power. Power. Hey. Power, resources, power, hey. resources. Hey. Enter, enter, enter. Yaka, 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 yaka. Waja bane kete mana shagya. Eri kete mene mana shala. Every day mene mene mana 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 ya. Territorial graces. Abande. Gradabalabaya. Amen. Something is particular. Listen. About the graces God is showing me. The two graces move into a forest and turn into a city. Yeah. If you have spiritual eyes, you will understand. Eyes. Eye. Will you connect? Will you connect? Will you connect? Will you connect? And cry to the Lord. Whatever you have done to the fathers. Yes. Greater measure, greater measure, greater measure. Do it in my life tonight. Sabalabalabalaya, sebelebreka pepa. Yes. God of Adeboye, God of Oyedepo, God of the generals. Our generation is ready. Our generation is ready. Let the fire fall. Our generation is ready. Generation is ready. Thank you, Lord. What I love so much about the Young Minister's Retreat as a retreat is it's not a place where you come to preach it's a place of encounters both the one preaching and the one watching or the one who came to the mountain experienced new sights of God they had never seen There is no record until that day that Elijah had ever called fire down that consumed the sacrifice. But the same Elijah called down fire, consumed people. Called down fire, consumed the sacrifice. There is a new dimension to God you have not seen yet. There are things I have seen at YMR in less than 24 hours here that I've never seen before. I've never seen what God just did now. Mount Carmel, a place of new encounters. Keep your hands lifted up. Lord, let it be known that this word preached is true. That this word preached is not a copy and paste. Let it be known that all that has been done has been done according to your word. Let the fire right now for everyone who is truly thirsty and hungry upon Mount Carmel. Let the fire not only consume let it refine. Let it not only refine, let it refire. 
And as he said so, the fire of the Lord fell. Keep your hands. Oh, fire of God upon everyone hungry. Let the fire fall now in Jesus' name. Receive it. Just blast in the Holy Ghost, blast in the Holy Ghost, blast in the Holy Ghost. Blast in the Holy Ghost. Blast in the Holy Ghost. 